Hey everyone, it's me, Josh Masters. And I'm Natalie Meeks. And we are experiencing the word together. Welcome back to another week. And in fact, our final week, our fourth and final week, meditating on the book of Ruth. That's right. What a special journey it's been to be able to do this together with you guys. So you might be wondering, where do we go from here? What's next? Yeah, so every month we release a new theme that we meditate on and we learn the process of meditating on God's Word through experiencing the Word, which is our updated approach to Lectio Divina. And we've been walking through the book of Ruth and for the next month, we're gonna focus on something that's been inspired by a very old preacher, A.B. Simpson. He was the founder of the Christian Missionary Alliance and he wrote a series of talks, a series of sermons that was turned into a book in 1890 called The Fourfold Gospel. And this is a 1925 edition uh, of the book. And what it does is it, it's the idea of looking at the gospel through the lens that Jesus fulfills four important roles in our life. Right. As savior, sanctifier, healer, and coming king. So we're not actually going to meditate on this book. It's just inspired by this book. And um, I'm very grateful for the work of A.B. Simpson. But we will take each of those four things. And each week, each of the four weeks, we will meditate on passages that reflect one of those four roles of Christ. First, Savior, Sanctifier, Healer, and then finally, our coming King. And it'll be a great follow-up, actually, to the very first book that we did at the beginning of the year, which was Knowing Jesus. And it'll be a great follow-up to dig in deeper to who Christ is and the the role he plays in our lives. So join us for that next month. But today we've got to start working on chapter four of Ruth. That's right. And if you don't have our workbook, you can go ahead and you can still join, even though we're in the last week, get the workbook uh, and either jump in where we are or go back to the beginning and watch all the videos and do it from the beginning. There's a link to this workbook in the description of the video, or you can just use a notebook and follow the instructions in the video that we provide uh, that teaches you how to do it. But we are in chapter four, which is week four, day one, And this passage is called the Guardian Redeemer. I think some translations call it a kinsman redeemer or family Family redeemer. Redeemer. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll be looking at Ruth 4, verses 1 through 4, and then meditating on that passage. All right. Let's begin. So I will pray, and then you can read for us. Father God, we thank you that you are our Redeemer. Mm -hmm. It's hard for us to grasp. So we thank you that you give us this story to help us grab hold of what we're capable of. But I pray that through our reading, through our meditation, through our time of quiet and stillness before you, that you would reveal the glory of your redemption, the glory of how you rescued us. And we thank you for not leaving us in the wilderness. Thank you for who you are and fulfilling the role of our family redeemer so that we could be free and safe and rescued. Thank you in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. Week four, chapter four, verses one through four today. It's a lot of fours. That's right. Boaz went to the gate of the town and sat down there. Soon the family redeemer Boaz had spoken about came by. Boaz said, come over here and sit down. So he went over and sat down. Then Boaz took 10 men of the town's elders and said, sit here. And they sat down. He said to the redeemer, Naomi, who has returned from the territory of Moab, is selling the portion of the field that belonged to our brother Elimelech. I thought I should inform you. Buy it back in the presence of those seated here and in the presence of the elders of my people. If you want to redeem it, do it. But if you do not want to redeem it, tell me 
so that I will know, because there isn't anyone other than you to redeem it, and I am next after you. I want to redeem it, he answered. Hmm. Well, we don't like that. No. No, we want Boaz to win. That's right. But yeah. we'll see what happens. God's not, his story's not finished yet. That's right. That's right. We'll see tomorrow what happens next. Yep. But for now, get alone with this passage, these four verses. Uh, meditate on them. Follow the five steps of experiencing the word. Again, I think we said at the beginning, but if you don't know how to do that, there's a link to a video that will explain how to do that. And then we'll come back tomorrow to continue the story. That's right. Let's see what happens. God bless you all. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.